So this question says one of the two linear equations in a system is negative 6x. I'll just rewrite it here. Negative 6x plus 7y equals negative 6, right? So we're told that this is one of two linear equations in a system of equations. The next sentence says the system has no solution. Okay, that is a huge hint. No solution to the system. How does a system of equations have no solutions? There's only one way that that happens. It's a two-part thing. First, x and y eliminate simultaneously. Right? So you go to eliminate one of them, and the other will automatically eliminate as well. Two, whatever is remaining, right, whatever is left over after that elimination, is not true. The math statement left over is not true. And hopefully this will make more sense in a second here. So these are our, our two criteria for a system of equation having no solution. So the question says, which equation could be the second equation in this system? All right. Well, I think I, I, think I see it. So we have negative 6x plus 7y equals negative 6 as the equation provided for us in the equation. My answer choice A would say that the second equation, which I'll just place under the first equation, would be 6x minus 7y equals 0. If I were to combine these two equations together, right, if I just added them together, what would happen? Negative 6x plus 6x is 0. 7y minus 7y is 0. And negative 6 plus 0 is negative 6, leading me to 0 equals negative 6, which is not true. So both things happened, right? So x and y eliminated just by adding the equations together. And the remaining, 0 equals negative 6, is not true. So choice A must be the correct answer. And thank God it is, because I didn't really want to have to do too much more too much more work here. Now, choice D, you'll see it's very close. It's just that the, again, if I have my negative 6x plus 7y, now I'm just putting my original equation under this one, x would also cancel out, y would also cancel out, 6 minus 6 is also 0, so I'm left with 0 equals 0. This is what infinitely many solutions look like. Right, so if the question had asked, well, which one gives you infinitely many solutions? It's when x and y cross out and what's left over is true. Okay, so that's the differentiation. And these just look like a mess. I'm glad we didn't have to jump into any of those.